let me give you an overview about the LC business credit cards from American Express. So the thing here is that you got to ask yourself which American Express business credit card is best for my LC. The thing is that what is good for one business may not be good for another, right? So it's uh, really important to take the time to uh, analyze your business's needs, your LC's needs. So whether or not an American Express business credit card is best for your LC will depend on your LC and its needs, and most importantly, its spending patterns, boss. So the, the question is, do you need good personal credit to get a business credit card for your LLC from American Express? The likely answer is yes. However, however, and this is a big however, if you establish a great relationship with American Express National Bank, the bank, if you have a business checking account or a business savings account with them, and you are able to uh, cultivate that relationship over time, even if you have a less than stellar credit score, American Express will be able to consider not only your credit score, but they will take into account the fact that you have a great relationship with them to actually uh, qualify you. This is something that a lot of folks don't believe, but it's kind of funny because we have been studying this uh, topic for the last 25 years or, or 30 years. We actually have uh, about 200 business clients who get approved for American Express uh, business credit cards as ALCs every year. Not a problem, even if the, the owner or the founder has uh, a bad credit score. Okay, and you have to understand when it comes to to American Express, what they really worry, what not not worry, what they really value is uh, your ability to have a clear idea about the kind of cars that you need. You have you need to have a, a crystal clear idea about the specific cars that you need. That's number one. You have to present a very uh, strong picture for your ALC in terms of uh, finances. So a clear financial idea, a clear financial picture. For your ALC, that's number two. And number three, you need to tell American Express your estimation of your your monthly spend. So your spend patterns. What are you going to use the card on? What kind of purchases you're going to make with the card? So this is really important. So before you apply for, before you choose any ALC business credit card for from American Express, have a clear idea about those three things. Okay. So your financials. You have a, You need to have an exact idea of what kind of a credit credit cards you need from American Express. Do you need a cashback credit card from Amex for your ALC? Do you need a travel rewards? Do you need a, Do you want an, a, a very low intro APR? So the more clarity you have, the better it is. The better your chances of landing that ALC business credit card from American Express. So let's just dig down into the actual review here. Welcome back. By the by, the way, welcome back to the show. Really, it's a pleasure to have you here. So I want to get I want to do a, a granular review of each American Express business credit card that your ALC could qualify for. Let's start with American Express Blue Business Plus, and uh, we love this card. You know why? Because the card has excellent when it comes to uh, flexible rewards. This is just a fantastic card. And it also has a low intro APR. Think about that. So you have a welcome bonus where you earn 15,000 points. So there's no annual fee. And the regular APR oscillates from 17.49% to 25.49%. Okay. So when, when we think about this card, it is really a rare example of a no annual fee way to gain your rewards earnings. So you will earn 2x points on all purchases up to $50,000 per year. It's the first is it is it is really a perfect fit if your ALC is small enough to spend less than $50,000 per year. If not, you want to spend up to the $50,000 maximum, then uh, the great strategy that we always tell our clients to do is that you want to switch to another card for the rest of the year's purchase. That way you are winning either way. It's a great strategy. It works all the time. So what are the pros and cons of this American Express Blue Business Plus? The pros. You have a wide constellation of airline transfer partners. The card has no annual fee, so this is great for your LLC. And you have a high rewards rate on the first $50,000 in annual spending that your LLC has actually uh, activated. What about the cons? There is a foreign transaction fee. And you have two points per dollar rewards rate falls to one point per dollar after the fifty thousand dollars in annual spending. So basically, you you gotta sit down 
and write on a piece of paper the things that really matter for your LLC. Because you know, you can earn 15,000 membership rewards points after you spend $3,000 in eligible purchases on the card within your first three months of card membership. The question is, have you already budgeted those purchases? Can you actually spend that much in the first three months of card membership? Okay, so you earn 2x membership rewards points on everyday business purchases for your ALC, such as office supplies or client dinners. You have 2x that applies to the first 50 grand in purchases per year. So you've got to, you actually have to plan and be very clear about what you need the card for. But overall, this is a great card. The second card I want to talk to you about when it comes to your LLC is called, it's called the American Express Business Gold. By the way, I want to quickly uh, remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about ALC business credit cards from American Express. So basically, the card here, the American Express Business Gold, is actually great for earning points quickly. So if you want your ALC business to earn points quickly, if you are interested in that, this card is fantastic for you. Okay, you have a welcome bonus where you whereby you earn 70,000 points. Think about that. The only thing is that you have an annual fee of $295. Okay, so you got to you got to figure out a way to offset that annual fee, which is totally possible anyway. Okay, don't let anybody razzle dazzle you telling you you can't do it. You you'll be able to do it. And the regular APR actually uh, ranges from 18.49% to 26.49%. Wonderful. So when we think about this uh, American Express business gold in relationship with uh, your ALC business, we think that if your ALC business has a significant spending, you can actually uh, you can actually get this card. Why? Because then you will be able to offset the annual fee and earn massive rewards through the 4x points rate on eligible purchases. 4x. I want to talk to you about the pros and cons of this card. The pros. You have flexible redemption and points transfer options. You have robust travel benefits. You have automatic four points per dollar on the two categories you spend the most each bill period on each bill each billing period on, up to fifty one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in annual spending, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay, and you have a twenty five percent airline redemption rebate when booking through Amex Travel, up to a quarter of a million points back each year so you're getting up to 250,000 points back each year I want to talk to you now about the cons so the cons you you have a very high annual fee relative to benefits think about it $295 and you have and the four points per dollar the, the, that rate is capped at the hundred and fifty thousand dollars in annual spending okay so when we talk about the welcome offer you earn 70,000 membership rewards points after you spend after you spent ten thousand dollars on eligible purchases with a business gold card within the first three months of, of card membership so this is what it is so and i just want to say that you have to think about what really works for you so what when 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 you listen to all those all the the, the variety of rewards that were the, the variety of perks do those do those perks and rewards match your exact business your exact lc I want to talk to you now about the American Express Blue Business Cash. And uh, we have analyzed this card in and out, and we think that this is great for your LLC business if you're looking for a low intro APR with cashback rewards business credit card. Okay, because you have a welcome bonus whereby you earn a 250 stipend credit, a $250 stipend credit. There's no annual fee. The APR here goes from 17.49% to 25.49%. This is really good. And uh, the thing is that if considering that there is no annual fee, the American Express Bull Blue Business Card, in our view, pays off for ALC business owners who spend $50,000 a year or, or less per year. So just don't use the card overseas because the, 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 the foreign transaction fee will eclipse the cashback rewards. Let me dig a little deeper here. I, I want to go through the pros and cons of this card. So what are the pros in our view? Well, the card itself 
it has no annual fee which is great if your LLC has uh, travelers all over the place okay as if your LLC has employees who travel most of the time and uh, in, there is an introductory APR on purchases so this is really good we love that you have great extra benefits like uh, purchase protection and car rental insurance you have business oriented benefits like employee cars and authorized management accounts this is really good you have uh, the highest earning cashback rewards that is capped at fifty thousand dollars in, in uh, annual spending this is really great what about the cons well the cons you have a high foreign transaction fees which is why we just i was just telling you earlier don't send your lc business employees your employees rather overseas and use the card you can send them overseas but uh, <laughs> tell them not to use the card and also this card has no low introductory apr for balance transfers so in terms of earning the 250 stipend credit after you make uh, if you want to earn the welcome bonus the $250 stipend credit you need to make $3,000 in purchases on your card in your first three months you earn 2% cash back on all eligible purchases on up to $50,000 per calendar year and then 1% cash back earned is automatically credited to your statement okay so this is what it is Now let's talk about the American Express Business Platinum. So, before I before I actually uh, give you uh, all the teas about this business credit card for your LLC, I just want to quickly remind everybody of today's topic. We're having a conversation about LLC business credit cards from American Express. I'm giving you an, an in-depth review so you have a clear idea of which card, if any, you should choose for your LLC. So in our view, this card is great for lounge access and lifestyle benefits. So if you have employees who value this type of uh, this criteria, you want to actually get this American Express Business Business Platinum for your ALC. Okay, so you have a welcome bonus whereby you can earn 120,000 points. The annual fee is just crazy though. It's really it's really crazy. So you, so you have $695. The regular APR goes from 18.49% to 26.49%. So really, in, in our in our view, the business platinum card from American Express is the quintessential status card for high spending, frequent flying LLC business owners and their employees. If if sufficiently leveraged, the card the card's robust benefits are well worth the high annual fee. You have to understand the fee is like $700. So you really have to actually uh, have a plan to use the card so you can benefit from it. So what are the pros and cons here? Pros, you have excellent welcome bonus. You have a constellation of potential statement credit. You have extensive airport lounge access. This is really good. And you have a rich suite of travel perks. What about the cons? Well, you have high spending requirements with, with uh, the ability to earn in the long run. But so, but you can earn uh, well right now. And one thing I want to so I, I want to say here is that uh, you have limited spending bonus categories, okay? And you have an annual fee and additional cardholders fees. They are very high, also, and some credits are doled out in increments, making them harder to use. So when you think about this card in general here, you have the welcome offer whereby you earn one hundred and twenty thousand membership rewards points after you spend fifteen thousand dollars on eligible purchases with your card within the first three months of card membership you get 5x membership rewards points on flights and prepaid hotels on amextravel.com and 1x points for each dollar you spend on eligible purchases you have you can also earn 1.5x points that's an extra half point per dollar on eligible purchases at u.s construction material and hardware suppliers electronic goods retailers and software and cloud system providers or and shipping providers as well as on purchases of five thousand dollars or more everywhere else so this is kind of cool fantastic i want to talk to you now about american express business green rewards credit card the thing about this card is that um, it is really great for no preset spending limits 
So if you are in a situation where you're comfortable about your ALC business, business's financial situation, you're comfortable about your uh, your cash inflows and cash outflows, and you, you don't want to have uh, any preset spending limits, go with the American Express Business Green Rewards, okay? You have a welcome bonus of 15,000 points. You have a, we have an annual fee of... Uh, I mean, you have a, you have a, there's no fee actually, but they charge you actually. I mean, they waive it. There is a ninety-five dollar annual fee. Let me just uh, qualify that. So there is a ninety-five dollar annual fee, but they actually uh, waived it for the first year. So you have to pay the second year. And uh, one thing I want to say: the regular APR goes from eighteen point forty-nine percent to twenty-six point forty-nine percent. And so if you are looking for an, an entry into the membership rewards ecosystem and you want a flexible credit line, you want to consider the American Express business green card for your uh, ALC. And while we let me just go through the pros and cons of this card so you have a clear idea what we are speaking about. So the pros, the card earns membership rewards points which are highly flexible. You have spending limits that adapt based on factors such as purchase and payment history. And you have some travel benefits also. What about the cons? Well, in our view, and this is based on our extensive research we have done, you have a lackluster earning potential, especially when compared to other ALC business credit cards. And uh, you also have the fee, right? The $95, $95 fee. Now, this annual fee is not really a biggie. If only this card has uh, a constellation of benefits, but they don't. So, because it doesn't have that that variety of benefits, the card really is not uh, the card has a, a bit of a problem. Let's just say it that way. So, when it comes to the fifteen thousand well fifteen thousand points as welcome bonus, you actually earn it after uh, you earn those points rather after you spend three thousand dollars in eligible purchases with the, with the, this card within the first three months of card membership. You can earn two X points for each dollar you spend. On eligible purchases for at, at American Express travel and one X points for each dollar you spend on eligible purchases and uh, there is no there is no fee the first year but $95 the second year I want to talk to you now about the uh, American Express Amazon Business Prime now this card is great if your ALC loves shopping on Amazon, okay? Because uh, because you have a, a constellation of benefits. I mean, one of them is that you have a welcome bonus, whereby you earn up to one hundred twenty-five dollars back. Okay, there's no annual fee. The a, the regular APR goes from uh, eighteen point forty-nine percent to uh, twenty-six point forty-nine percent. So this is kind of cool. Now, so if your ALC business spends heavily on Amazon, AWS, okay, or Whole Foods for that matter, this car's 5% back is an unbeatable reward, more so with uh, no annual fee. So if short-term cash flow is an issue for you, for your ALC, you have the option to swap the 5% back for 90-day 0% APR financing on any eligible purchase. There is no 0% intro APR offer and the standard APR is uh, high so this card is not suitable for long-term financing very important to remember and so what are the pros and cons of this uh, card what are the pros so we have no foreign transaction fee free employee cards that include purchase controls on each eligible purchase you can choose 5% back or 90-day terms at Amazon and Whole Foods what about the cons? Well, you have a Amazon Prime membership that, that is required, no intro APR offer, and you have a standard APR that can be high depending on your credit. So this is really important to think about that. And so you can get an Amazon.com gift card upon approval for the Amazon Business Prime American Express card. Okay, you can choose 95% back or 90 days terms on eligible U.S. purchases at Amazon Business, AWS, Amazon.com, and Whole Foods Market with an eligible Prime membership. And you earn a 2% back at restaurants, U.S. gas stations, and our wireless telephone services purchased directly, actually directly from uh, U.S. service providers. Okay, and uh, you can earn 1% back on other purchases. So overall, this is a great card. And uh, 
I just want you to, re to remember that the 5% back applies to the first $120,000 in purchases each calendar year and it, it switches to 1% uh, after that. So this is really important to our mission. Now, before I close to this conversation, if you have met us so far, I really want to I want to reward you with uh, some pro tips. Okay, the thing here is that you got to have a strategy, you got to have a a formula for applying for an an American business credit card for your ALC. I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks and hacks here that we have accumulated in in the in the last 30 years and that are have been always proven. They have always been they have always worked. So. The thing is that the American Express ALC business credit cards that I have just talked to you about, they all include a set of a set of a solid benefits like purchase protection or extended warranty, right? So while some include extra benefits like cell phone coverage or travel perks, not all do. So the thing you have to think about, first you want to start with uh, your business goals. That's where everything start, starts at. What are your business goals? You are looking for a business credit card from American Express for your ALC. What is your ALC's business goal? And this could be a singular or plural. So from that point on, you start by your needs and say, okay, here are my goals and here are my needs. How do I get, which card do I get? Well, you start looking at the fundamentals of the card, the APR. Don't look for the intro offer. The intro offer is designed to lure you in. What you need to have is you need to have what's really solid, okay? So you want to understand that for this person, the, the, it's it's very important to say, okay, if this person wants to apply for the American Express LC business credit card, could they qualify for the card? And what type of business do you have? Do you have a, a single member LC or do you have a multi-member LC? This is also important. And also we want to move to the spending, your spending, your volume of spending. So you want to look at the, the first, the last three three months of your transactional data and see what kind of stuff you spend the most money on, and how much you because all this information, American Express is going to ask you. You may not have to go to a branch, a physical branch, but they can have a conversation with you over the phone, whereby they ask you they ask you all questions. So you and you, you need to have a clear answer, okay? And don't forget about your uh, financials. Don't forget about your uh, income statements. Don't forget about your balance sheet. Don't forget about your statement of cash flows. You don't st don't forget about your uh, your uh, statement of owners equity. So those are the four statements, and Amex will ask those to have a clear idea about what your LLC stands for. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I was just talking to you about LLC business credit cards from American Express. And uh, so the review, I talked about the, the Amex Blue Business Plus, the Amex Blue Business, I mean Blue Gold, the Amex Blue Business Cash, the Amex Blue Business Platinum, the Amex Blue Business Green Rewards, and the Amex Amazon Business Prime. And I also finished by talking to you about how to pick an Amex business credit card. Thank you so much for your attention. Really appreciate it. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.